Welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hi guys, I'm Devin with Freckled Mom. Today's video is all about shopping. I am working on my new craft room or craft nook. I have a doctor's appointment in Dartmouth, which is really close to a bunch of stores that I like to go to. Michael's, uh, Joanne Fabrics, Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, Christmas Tree Shop. So I figured I would go to all those stores and look for some stuff for the craft room. I want to make some stuff, but I also want to get some stuff for like organization and different things like that. So I'm going to bring you guys along and let's see what I get. So I'm excited. All right, let's go. So first stop is the Christmas tree shop. And look at all these cute bins. Oh my goodness, so cute. Spring is out in full effect. Spring and Easter and all these items are so cute. I love boxes. I love organization. It's just so much fun. Oh my goodness. So I haven't exactly decided on my color scheme yet. So I'm trying to stay kind of neutral on whatever I choose for a bin. And then I can incorporate some more color after I decide what I'm going for. And I don't think I want cloth just because of the dogs. You know, with dog hair and stuff, I think it'd be better to be glass or plastic. But here are so many glass jars for like my paint brushes and my markers. And I just don't know what style I wanna go for. But then I'm drawn to metal. I am just at a loss what I wanna do, but I need to bring it all together somehow. Now this is the kitchen section, but it still has like really good ideas for storage. And you guys know me and Lazy Susans. I love them so much for like painting and things like that. But it's also good for doing your crafts on. I learned that from Ginger Chick Rehab. Such a good idea. And here is my nautical theme, which I have throughout my house. And I don't know if I really want that in my craft room though. But I definitely need bins, hanging bins and bins to go in a pegboard and bins to put things in. Now I'm at Bed Bath & Beyond and this place is exactly what it says, beyond. There are so many ideas and choices to choose from but also the price range is a little beyond. So. I like to get my ideas here and then jump over to the dollar store to see if there's anything that I can recreate for a cheaper price. I see these scarf hangers and I'm wondering if this would be a good idea for like my cameo paper, but I'm not sure. So right now I'm going to pass, but I'm going to keep looking. I definitely need things for my craft paper and my cameo paper and my scrapbook paper. So we will see how I decide to do that. Now I'm at Michael's and these bins are adorable. And you guys know me and wood. I love it so much. Oh. My goodness, so cute. The price though, eee, I don't know. A little bit out of my price range. So these are the colors that I'm going for, I think. I'm kind of in between a couple ideas here, so I'm seeing if they have my letters. If they do, then I will choose them, but I'm not exactly sure. But I really love these golds and these pinks, and I just think they are so cute. And oh my goodness, this makes me want to change my whole idea and go for a country farmhouse theme. Oh my goodness, it's just so cute. I love everything in this aisle. I want to take it all home. I don't need a cork board this big, but I do need a cork board. But I have an idea, so stick with me to the end and see what I come up with. Again, these colors are so cute. I went back to that leopard because the room I'm in 
for my craft room has a huge tiger in it. So I'm thinking, should I make it animal themed? I don't know, we'll see. Hi guys, so wasn't that fun? Now, going into this, I have thought of colors and I didn't know if I wanted to go like farmhouse or glam or I had some inspiration. So this is just like a box I got from one of the Christmas presents. I, this is a color that I really liked and not so much this color, but like this gold kind of color. And I don't know if it's exactly gold that I like or like a rose gold, but pink's my favorite color. So of course I have to do something, you know, with pink. I don't know if you guys saw my last shop with me video, but I went to Target and I ended up getting these wicked cute cards. My goodness. So this is the color I want. It's like a, like a pale pink and a rose gold with like white, but not like stark white, like an off white. So I really like that kind of combination together with a little bit of brown. And you gotta remember that my house has a lot of blues and browns and beiges, as you can see <laughs> behind me. With saying that, let's get on to all the fun stuff. So like I said, this was from Target. That was just my inspiration. This was inspiration. And I'm gonna try to pull it in the right order so you guys can see my idea, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. I had stopped at Bed Bath & Beyond, The Dollar Store, Joanne Fabrics, Christmas Tree Shop, and Michael's. So I did all that after my doctor's appointment. And if you wanna hear about my doctor's appointment, go to my Instagram. If I can help anybody else that's suffering with chronic illness or issues that maybe are the same as mine, then I'm here for you. So it's on my Instagram and on my Facebook. Today is all about my craft room. This is from the dollar store. I have two dollar stores in the city I live in. It's like a small city, but it's still a city. And there are two dollar stores, a dollar depot, which is not a dollar store at all. It is like wicked expensive stuff, but like cheapy, like made. But I went to Dartmouth for my doctor's appointment and that's where all those stores were. Like not all together, they're kind of spaced out, but not too far, like five minutes from each other. But there's a Dollar Tree there that I used to go to when I lived in the area. I haven't been there in so long and I'm so happy that I stopped there. One, they have super like sturdy bags. Like, hello, the dollar store bags always break. So I had gotten some furniture for the new craft room. I have like those cube organizers and a couple of workspaces and like desk kind of areas. But I have, like I said, the cube organizers and I wasn't sure what kind of boxes I was gonna go for. So I got these because they were a dollar. If I don't like how they look, I'll get something else later. But for a dollar, I mean, who cares? So I got these and these are just those plain white ones all the same because like I said, my color scheme. So I ended up getting these and you can do whatever you want with them. You can spray paint them, you can mod podge them. Remember that, remember that idea about mod podging them because I'm gonna show you something in a few seconds. I know, this is so exciting. So like I said, they had all kinds of stuff that my dollar store, dollar store and Dollar Tree does not have. And I got so excited because I see a lot of people that I know who do Dollar Tree crafts and they have all kinds of fun stuff like wooden things and all kinds of like really cute craft stuff that my dollar store doesn't have. So guess what I found? Wooden crafts. So I'm looking for a area to put like my little hooks and like my eyelets, like the back of the pictures, like that, you know, when I'm making my pictures and signs. So I needed like little boxes and I got these and so cute, my goodness. So this one, I got three different, I have three different things to use, so I got butterfly, flower, and a heart. I was gonna keep them all the same and then I figured I should just have them different so I don't get them confused and there we go. So all three different and I just needed three from what I'm thinking, yeah, cause yeah, three things. Now, this is really cute. So I guess we'll stay with all the dollar store stuff. Okay, so again, my dollar store doesn't have any of this stuff. So little boxes, so cute. How cute are these boxes? My goodness. I have an idea. I'm gonna show you after though. Here we go. So, just so many. I, I don't know how many I need, so they're only a dollar. Bunch of different boxes. And then these ones with the little slats in it. Oh my God, so cute. And remember, I'm gonna show you something in a minute. Oh, these are just so cute. I'm so happy that I found these. I don't even know why my dollar store doesn't have them. Like, how does that even happen? So I got a whole bunch of these. I'm gonna put two of these to the side so you guys can see for after. 
and then I got these little clips remember for these I'm gonna show you something after and what else did I get from the dollar store and I got this just to put like my tools in and stuff so right now my tools are like in coffee mugs and uh, tins and um, like old mason jars so just kind of and, and I don't even know if I'm gonna change that much um, I just want to have some more options and try to make it easier so that's my issue with the craft room is that it's kind of spaced out everywhere and I have to like reach for things and everything's in different areas so I want to just kind of put everything in the same area and just make it easier to use so okay here we go I'll show you guys this and I think this is it from the dollar store so I got these and again I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna do with this one minute so then I went to Christmas tree shop and I ended up getting um, a couple things that were like weren't for here but um, I saw this and mermaid kisses and starfish wishes but look at the color so this is like kind of the color I'm going for now if you guys seen my um, freckled mom logo this is the color like I like that copper pink kind of mauve kind of look I don't even know the name of it but this is the color I want mixed with like the rose gold and white beige yes I don't know we'll see when it all get, comes together we'll see so that's normally like how I work like I start with one thing and then I start branching off and then that's when you know creativity happens so I got that at Christmas tree shop and I thought that was perfect and then where did I go after I went to Joanne Fabrics and I'm not trying to be fresh, okay? If you're a Joanne Fabrics person, I like them, I enjoy them, but I think their prices are a little crazy. Um, certain prices, like certain things are good in price, other things not good, like florals, super expensive, even with like a coupon and stuff, like certain things were like $10, like that just, that's too much for me. But I did find some things on sale. These were half off. Look how cute they are. So I'm not really a fan of the green part, but you're not going to see the green part. You're just going to see the pink part, but I like that. You know, I like things that shut because the puppy, he likes to go and put his nose into everything. And you know, he's going to be in that craft room, getting his head into anything he can. So that was from Joanne Fabrics. That was, so everything was from the dollar store. Then that was from Joanne Fabrics. And these were $9 half off. So $4 and 50 cents. And I know some people are probably saying like, Devin, you could have mod podge that, but I really liked it and it was cute and whatever. It was the last two left anyway, so I got that. So this, I didn't exactly get from my craft room. It's a cutting board, um, but it's like, I love the colors. So not exactly what's going to be in the room, but I wanted to, I don't know, I guess look at it and get some ideas because again, I wasn't sure what my colors were. But I thought these were super cute, so I got that. And then this does, this is from the dollar store. So these are the rub-on transfers. Again, my dollar store, it has some crafts, but it doesn't have a craft corner or craft square, the crafter square. My dollar store and Dollar Tree, whatever it's called, it doesn't have it. So I was so happy when I saw all these and I got a couple things. So this had the gold that I wanted to keep. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but some kind of sign. And then this I thought was cute and I'm not really going for a black theme with it, but I really like the flowers and the different stuff. So even if I don't use it in the craft room, I'll use it. So now we're at Michael's. Oh my God, look at this. This is so exciting. Like this is literally all my colors. I'm not a big fan of buying these big things only because they're so expensive and I don't do a lot with cardstock. Um, I used to back in my scrapbooking days, but I really haven't scrapbooked in a while, but I can. I thought this was super cute and I was thinking about, like I said, with the white bins that I have, I'm gonna mod podge them, baby. So excited. I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet because there's so many, but it's got all the colors that I like. It's got the gold, it's got the rose gold, it's got the pink, it's got the white, and these are just so cute. Oh my goodness, I love them. Okay, you're gonna start seeing things happening now think of what I'm gonna make okay I have a cork roll now I've never used these before but I'm excited to and so you know like a cork board which I'm I have one see if you can see that behind me that's what I'm using right now it is literally the biggest cork board and 
this so hard to put the pins in and it's because it's so big like I just don't use it I don't pull it out and I need to because I put all my ideas on it like my crafting ideas my orders my custom orders the orders for the booth so like I have a lot of information on there but I don't look at it because it's so big and I leave it stuck behind a chair so my idea is where I'm going to be sitting where my desk is gonna be I have two areas like um, built-in shelves and they have the walls to the built-in shelves. What I was thinking, stay with me here, okay? I don't think I'm gonna use this whole size because the size of the shelves is probably like this, you know, like that. And I'm going to put the cork board, okay? So, and I have all my pins. And then I'm gonna put these little boxes right there. And I'm gonna do two of them. So one, two, and then I can put like little things in there, like whether it be um, like, I don't know, pens or something, or maybe my lip gloss, because I love my lip gloss and I always need it. Where is my lip gloss? I always have it. I have one <laughs> and two. I always have a lip gloss and of course it's pink and rosy lips. There's something wrong with me, I know. I'm not a big makeup person, but I love my lip gloss. So anyways, my lip gloss and maybe some chocolate, yeah? lip gloss chocolate, I think that's perfect. So anyways, my two baskets, the cork board, and then these guys, and I can put like my orders or whatever I don't wanna stick you know, a hole in, just hang it by the clip. I mean, how cute is that? So that is it, actually it's not it. So I have, and like I said, these are just my boxes from Christmas, but I have a whole bunch of these in different sizes, and they're like really sturdy, and that's why I kept them. This one not so much, but the other ones are very sturdy and I kept them and I try to be really careful with them and I'm going to paint them and I don't know if I'm gonna Mod Podge it or just paint it, but I'm gonna paint it to whatever color I end up going with. If it's gonna be more gold or more pink or more white, I'm gonna paint those and then I'll have more organization. So I can't promise you what day my craft room is gonna be done. I can't promise you that because I'm still waiting on two more things to come in the mail and then we have to put it together and then we have to oh my husband's gonna put it together and then i have to put everything together and i'm just so excited like this is stuff that i love i love organizing and i love moving things around and i just like new beginnings and i think i'm gonna really like this craft room and i think i'm gonna have so much fun so anyways i'm really excited so thanks for coming along with me i think that was a good shopping trip and i hope you guys had fun like there was a lot of fun stuff there Plus, obviously, so much inspiration. Like, I'm not gonna spend $20 to $24 on like half of that stuff that I took pictures of, but I'm gonna make it, and you guys can make it too, because that's what we do on these crafting channels. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. You'll be alerted whenever I upload a new video. So I don't do just shop with me. I do DIY, I do thrift hauls, I do thrift flips. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But make sure that you like and subscribe and comment. Like, tell me what's your favorite thing because I love all this stuff. Like, I get so excited. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. Make sure you like because it helps my channel. It helps my channel grow. But it also lets me know that you like this kind of stuff. Like, I mean, who doesn't like this kind of stuff? Just saying. I mean, maybe pink's not your color, but whatever. So I'll see you guys later, okay? And make sure you guys check back for when I do my craft room because I am so excited about that. If you haven't gone back through all my other videos, go back, check my other videos out, and tell me which craft is your favorite. Tell me which furniture piece is your favorite. I wanna hear it all. And if you have redone a craft room, I wanna hear that too. What is your color scheme? Do you have you know, certain kind of pattern? I wanna hear it all because I might change my mind. We haven't set it up yet, so who knows? All right, guys, I'll see you later. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed shopping with me. I'm on Instagram and Facebook as Freckled Mom.